Just a quick announcement before we start the episode. On June 12th, Carcat Day at 2 p.m. Central Time, Moosey, Justin, Dami, and I are going to get together, meet up live in person, and we're going to be doing a live Q&A. We'll also just be generally chatting, and maybe uh, Dami and I will flex our voice acting muscles and uh, do some line reading. But uh, yeah, if you have any questions, I have a form that's linked in the show notes. Also, you can just email jacksyax at gmail.com. You can join the Discord, also linked in the show notes. Or, you know, if you get there while we're still going, then you can ask a question there. The recording will be saved on our YouTube, which is youtube.com slash at livelaughstuck. And the stream will be happening on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Amberlin. Uh, all of that will be in the show notes as well for easy clickability. So, you know, mark it in your calendars if you can come hang out. Uh, it'll be It'll be a lot of fun. And um, I hope to see you there. This will be our, our first time, all of us, meeting up in person. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. See you then, June 12th, 2 p.m., live Q&A. Hi, welcome back to Live Laugh Stuck. This is Jackie, aka Jax. Um, this is gonna be an episode, uh, and it's this gonna be like... an episode with with Dami, who just interrupted before I could introduce yeah. her. Sorry, and Justin, who's also here. I'm afraid of interrupting. No, you're not. No, you're not. Literally no one on this call is afraid of interrupting. We all have ADHD and play TTRPGs. There's no way we could deal with either of those things without interrupting. Ugh. Anyway, we're um we're a bit goofy this time, and maybe it's appropriate. It's like the fourth time you've tried to start this. Yeah, okay, and only one of those times was my fault. If you say so. <laughs> I do. Okay. And we're back. We're back to rating ships. We're rating ships. I mean, you know that. Like, you know that because you read the title. I mean, unless it just auto populates into your uh, YouTube or podcast queue and you don't look or pay attention. I mean, if this is on YouTube, you should probably look. I mean, there's visuals. I edited a video for this. So if you're are, you have look at it, look at it. <laughs> But unless it auto cues to your podcast and it just came up and you're like, I don't know what the fuck it is. Well, now you know. Now you know. This is about ships. Life is about ships. Ship names. It's about ship names. Homestuck ship names. Specifically homestuck ship names. If, we're, if we want to be really clear. Um, specifically homestuck ship names between Acts 1 and 7. Nothing after that. We're not doing Hive Swap or Friend Sim or, I mean, I guess technically we're doing Pester Quest, except... Uh, uh, MSPAR isn't in here, so we're not doing Pester Quest. That's funny, because that is a Homestuck character. No. <laughs> Wasn't, nobody, nobody ships MSPAR with anybody. No. <laughs> what do you mean? Also, I like calling them MSPAR. I think that's funny. MSPAR is a good pronunciation. <laughs> MSPAR. Yeah. MSPAR. I mean, no one ships a lot of things. I'm putting together that Ships S tournament... Do you know how many weird ships are in there? 72. Do you understand? There's, I mean, maybe 72 of them are weird. Yeah. But like, Dad Crocker and Jake English, I feel like I brought this up last time, but it's just like, that's incest. And it's wild. <sighs> but I don't have a name for them. But we do have names for these because that's the whole point. Do we want to do a how are you doing starting thing or sh should we just get on with it? I would say, was that my cue? Did I miss it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Line. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if you ask me a question, I'll answer it. If you put a ship name in front of me, I'll rate it. Okay, cool. I do want to say real quick, we're recording this in February. <laughs> I like having a time on these so you know the last time the last one I was editing that goes out 
uh, tomorrow for supporters and uh, Thursday for everyone else, the uh, the 14th and the 15th. Happy Valentine's Day, y'all. It's a ship. It's a ship to your episode. I definitely did it on <laughs> purpose. But uh, those were recorded after Thanksgiving. So, I mean, technically this is recorded after Thanksgiving. Yeah. Just not. Yeah. That was recorded close to Thanksgiving. It is, it is always both after and before Thanksgiving. Anyway, point is, it's February now. Hopefully you'll be hearing this in like April. It's so funny to me that like me leaving bits in the episodes where you commented on what time of the year it was or whatever started out as a bit and now you've just leaned into it so hard i love you you just say the date when you're recording every chance you get i love it so much i love it when i see it in other like mediums like um when i'm watching uh pro zd plays games and they're talking about something that happened like six months ago it's my favorite I think it's funny. I want uh I want Resonant Beats. Hi Ash, I know you're listening. I want Resonant Beats to do this because you'll have to put a year in there as well. <laughs> That's so good. That was like when I was waiting for some of the Bard Rock Cafe episodes I was on to come out. And then there's one that I don't know will come out, but that's not for Bard Rock Cafe, but it's for the Bard Rock Cafe network. Yeah. I'm just waiting. So, is it is it Look. Is it time? It's the authority regulator, the parcel mistress, and the wayward vagabond as Oreo shipping. I love that you knew those names. You could not have a they are not me tell you the names. I did a I did a bad job because uh they are I'm pretty sure all from different time periods. Yeah. Cause that's I, <laughs> that's the mayor. How dare you? Ugh, fine. <laughs> You're right, I see his sash. Royam. <laughs> Oreo shipping. I mean, is black, white, black, something, something, cream filling, very sexy. Yeah. I yeah. don't know. To me, maybe I'm looking too deep into this. I don't know, just anything relating to Oreo and romance just makes me think of racist names that mixed black kids get. You know? Yeah. So that kind of taints my perspective on this. Yeah. Yeah, I hear ya. Bad name. Yeah, I don't love it. I think even before that, it just kind of sucks. Like... Yeah, it doesn't illustrate these characters at all. It implies yeah. that uh, PM is in the middle instead of topping them both. It's true. You're so <laughs> right. They're such simps, both of them. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I think Renegade wants to be a top. Yeah, in the same way Equius wants to be a top. You, fuck, you know what? Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> hey, here's a hot take. AR and Equius are just the same character. That is a hot take. That is a hot take. <laughs> I am playing a hot potato with it and um <laughs> tossing it back. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> um I do have I just finished editing before we started recording and I do have the instinct to go drag down a letter and start like, you know, copy and pasting the 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 shit onto it so it does the stamp effect. And I'm just like, where am I? Dra- what am I in that I can't drag down the letter? By the way, it's <laughs> D. That's the letter I'm looking to drag down and put on this and, and do the stamp effect. Um, what are y'all thinking? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, D, D, maybe even F. Yeah, I honestly F, F for like potential weird race stuff. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Homestuck F for potential weird race stuff. <laughs> Yeah, that's fair. Oreo shipping gets an F. Yeah. Cool. Do we want to try and lightning round this? Uh, we should not lightning round immediately because... Uh, you have words to say? Oh, because you have the thing. That's I, right. I do have the thing. But as soon as that's done, we can... Okay, honey bun. It's a delicious... Solux and Jane as honey bun. 
Yeah, that's right. This is why you do it, not me. Exactly. Especially since Jane's here. I just Jane really want a is... honey bun now. Ugh. I agree. I am not gonna lie. I kind of like this one. And it's not because just because it's like, Jane's here. Because <laughs> this is like a nickname. Like, it's yeah. not just a food item. Like, that's something that you could, like, it's a pet name. And this is a pet name both of them use, I'm certain of it. You think Solux would use it? I think she could convince him. Uh, I don't... In private. Once in a while. Putting a lot of, like, um, addendums? Is that the word I'm trying to think of? Okay, fair enough. I'll take it back. Jane would use this. <laughs> Jane would use it. Jane would use this. It is a food one, but it's a food one that I like. Yeah, food doesn't all automatically get disqualified. It's the lazy food ones. Mm-hmm. This is food that is, like, actually relevant to both of these characters. Like, it wasn't just yellow cake. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Which it could have been. It could have been. Lemon cake. There we go. That's one that would have been more... That one's worse. Potential and shitty. Right, it's it's mm-hmm. worse. But it's it's more food. I do want... I think I just want sweets. I think that's my issue. God damn it. We put a food in S tier. Which food? Rosemary. Alpha beta soup. And rosemary. Rosemary is not a food. You consume it. <laughs> you it you put it on food or in food. So Which makes it part of the food. Yeah. Is jelly okay, not okay, food? Look, is ketchup we... Where is the line? Where is the food line? So Here's ketchup what... and mustard isn't a food name. No, they're condiments. So if it comes up with ketchup and mustard, we already had a ketchup and mustard, and that was considered a food name. No, it was considered bad. It might have been considered a food name. I don't you know. Also Maybe I'm considered it a food name. Maybe I'm a hypocrite right now. But here's where it's I true. draw the line. We were literally talking earlier today about all getting all three of us in the same place. I was talking about it, and neither of you said anything. We were talking about it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And here's here's where I draw the line. Um, if you would eat a spoonful of it, you want to just eat a spoonful of rosemary? So sugar. Actually, is yes. You. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just thinking of a spoonful of sugar. I mean, like medicine sugar, isn't a sugar food. Is, sugar is a food. Sugar <laughs> is not a food if rosemary I, isn't. A I food. would I would eat a spoonful of sugar. So sugar is a food. That doesn't <laughs> count. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I see where you're coming from. I think I can see your argument. I don't think you're right. <laughs> but it's fine. I, can I, don't, I don't think I'm right either. It's fine. Of your take. <laughs> <laughs> I okay, sometimes but what do we say about honey bun? I think it's like an A if I had to throw out a throw out a letter. Ooh, that's really high. That is really high. It is kind of high. I like it a lot. C for me. Fair. I'll say a B. All right. Because I like winning. Okay, that averages out to a B. Honey Bun gets a B. Carcat and Terezi as Red Dragon. I just think of Bad Dragon and then uh, the the Hannibal book. I think of Red Dragon Inn, one of my favorite board games. Mm. It has nothing to do with the ship. You know what I don't think of? What? What? Carcat and Terezi. You know what? Yes. Uh, Really? Yeah. Are you two being real here? Yeah. What? Do you like this one? No. I thought you said what? What do you think of Car Cat and oh, Terezi? I'm like, no, no what I, I said, don't you know think what of. I don't. Think oh, of. okay. I thought you said you know what I think of Car Cat and Terezi, and I'm like, no. <laughs> Red Dragon, yeah, is absolutely perfect. Red Dragon automatically Car Cat Terezi. My throat S-tier. is rebelling against me <laughs> saying those words. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, 
No, I, uh, again, I think I mostly think of the, uh, the Hannibal Lecter series book. Yeah, this is just uninspiring, frankly. Yeah. Like, I don't have any words about it. This is just, it's just uninspiring F. and bad. F. 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 Red Dragon gets an F. Okay. I gotta be sure that I get get my jacks right. Okay. Beck Noir and the Parcel Mistress as Salt and Pepper. D. Excuse me, excuse me, hold on. If I'm gonna get my jacks right, I have to get my PMs right as well. Beck Noir and the Peregrine Mendicant as Salt and Pepper. I do agree, D. <laughs> Yeah, D. This is again just literally a black and white sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't scream these characters in any way. Yeah. Yeah. They don't go together. Their whole ship dynamic is quite the opposite of going together, in fact. Yeah. Yeah. Did we rate this? Did we give this a D already? I thought we did an F. Or do we do a D? Do it F? F works for me. Fuck this. Okay. If we didn't say it earlier, Salt and Pepper gets an F. If we did say it earlier, Jax, cut the entire past five minutes out. I mean, I'm going to anyway. <laughs> there is something in the second episode that, that we said we were going to cut out, and I did not. So, Of course. I'm dying to know what it was. Oh, it was Justin telling me in uh, a, a video edit effect to put in that would have been a lot of effort, and I said no. <laughs> <laughs> and so I, like, put uh, a thing over the top that said, pretend I did this. <laughs> <laughs> Great. I love that. Okay. Tavros and Dave as time for sick fires. I almost want to give it a C. Because, like, yeah, sure, there's a a, a, a time and it's kind of uninspired, but it's like... No, I think that's the right word. Yeah. I don't think there's another pair I would think of upon hearing Time for Sick Fires. Yeah. But that's I'm also gonna... very bland. It's uh, uninspired is a very good word for it. Can I be frank? Yeah. No, you can be dummy. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I would love this a lot more if it was just sick fires. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's already a Tavros Dave thing. You don't need to shove time in here. Yeah. Yeah. I guess other characters also rap at each other. Okay, but the Tavros... Tavros in particular is the one who started some sick fires, bro. Yeah. Regardless, what do we think of this one? D. D. That's fair. Yeah, Time for Sick Fires gets a D. Solux and Kanaya as Queen B. I I do kind of like this one. I do I do like this one, yeah. Yeah. I don't hate it. It's I think B? Yeah, I think if ever there was a B, it's this sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Solix just gets so many bees <laughs> because <laughs> well, he's, he's got he's got a head full of bees. Yeah. Look, Solix would love nothing more than to know that all of his ship names get a B. Not all of them, but a good <laughs> number. Yeah, B. Queen B gets a B. Jake and Dirk as Brokeback Mountain. Don't like it. I'm going to be honest, I know nothing about this movie except gay cowboys. And neither it's... of these two are cowboys. Yeah. It's, uh, it's not... They're just gay. That's what this name is from. It's... Yeah. That's, that's all this is. Yeah. Uninteresting. Reason. Uh, F? F. 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 Brokeback Mountain gets an F. <laughs> Guncest. Jake, Jake and Jake. Jake has Guncest. <laughs> Maybe I'll start using that in my uh my polls. <laughs> I have a name for them. 
Guntest is very funny, I it's, feel like. It's very it's funny. A good name. <laughs> yeah. It do, it does suffer from just using using cest as a suffix, but I think that works when it's funny. Like Yeah. I don't know. Like, yeah, it, it does get to the point, but like, I mean, so many like incest shift names have to have cest on the end to just make you know, you know? It's like, no, to be clear, this is incest. I guess Windy Cuffs doesn't have that. Not really. Yeah, I was just thinking the law incest, alpha cest, strider cest, uh, guardian cest, mom cest. But those are also, like, mostly, like, if I'm being frank, right, the majority of those are, like, you know, D, C tier, uninspired. They are. Playing yeah. To yeah. The point no, I was just names. thinking of all this, the, 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 the incest ship names I know off the top of my head. Mm-hmm. Guncest good. Guncest good. I'm willing also, to... it just brings up the idea of gun incest. <laughs> <laughs> it's like beyond guns fucking, they're incest fucking. <laughs> These guns are related. Yeah, that's when they're like the same make and model. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, I... Like a bee? Yeah. <laughs> All no. I'm imagining <laughs> is Ebony and Ivory from Dante's Guns from Devil May Cry. <laughs> just them making out. <laughs> That's Guncest. Oh my god! Guncest <laughs> from a, a, a Soul Eater. The two <laughs> sisters are Death the Kid's guns. Oh my god. <laughs> That's Guncest. <laughs> That's Guncest. <laughs> okay, that Guncest be- gets an S. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I actually think this is like an A though. I think I like this more than Queen B. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'll yeah, give it yeah. an A. I'll, yeah. Gun Guncest gets an A. I'm right there with you. That's so good. <laughs> God, I'm just gonna be thinking about Soul Eater Guncest. <laughs> <laughs> Kanaya and Gamzy as olives and wine. D F. D or F? <laughs> F. Yeah, I'm fine with F. I was thinking about D for a second, because, like, I don't, like, hate it, hate it, but I do mostly hate it. It would be a D if Gamzy was more of a, more of a, more of a drunk, but he's more of yeah. a stoner. Yeah. That's true. I feel like this is, again, supposed to be a colors thing. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It is. It is. I'm just, you know. It's just a classy colors thing. Yeah. Olives aren't generally teal. <laughs> like, Well, Kanai isn't teal. I mean, uh, yeah. Nepeta is literally an olive blood. So there's yeah, that. That's true. This is yeah. also wrong. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm like, Terezi's teal, but yeah, uh, Nepeta's olive. This. I don't know. It'd be Jade and Amethyst would be like if you wanted to do something that sounded classy. Ooh. I might. That's that's good. Yeah. That's classy. I kind of dig Gamzy's that one. not classy, so I'd still grade it low, but. Yeah, but like the ship name is trying to go for classy. So I was thinking about something classier. Hey, gemstone combinations? Underrated. Uh, hey, any shippers out there, need you to listen to me for a second. Gemstone combinations underutilized in your ship names. All right. Steven Universe just came out. And Give me more of those. Get them on my desk. Get back yeah. to me. <laughs> Let's say where's where's our Steven Universe Homestuck fans? <laughs> right. Where's our uh fuck? What is it called? Where's our Huseki no Kuni Homestuck fans? <laughs> I don't know that one. F. 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 Uh, F. Olives and wine gets an F. <laughs> Jade and Tavros as bulldog. F. 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 Bulldog gets an F. Moving on. Also, I don't know where you got that high res Jade because I've been copying <laughs> and pasting all the images for my polls from uh the Homestuck <laughs> wiki, and I do not have a high res Jade. <laughs> I we- don't. I don't know. 
We talk Unless about it's like her. the copy and paste didn't work and you had to like download the file in order to get a high res. We talk about I, her every episode. She's a constant I, companion <laughs> along this journey. <laughs> I did have so to do startling. I did have to do something different with a couple of them for reasons unknown. Maybe that's it. Yeah. I, I really don't remember. That's fair. John and Jane as pancake. Where does the pan come into the occasion? Yeah, I don't know. It's because they don't have ass? Flat butt? Pancake? I don't get it. But if there's one thing that we know about Jane, Jane physically, got cake. it's that she's got meat on her bones. <laughs> to be fair, I got meat <laughs> on my bones and I don't have an ass. I guess that's I got everything fair. but an ass. But, uh... Yeah, I don't feel like that's the implication with Jane. Jane and Jake got ass. Sorry, hold on. Jane and who? Jake. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, you are right. I just thought we were talking about, you know, these two. Right, yeah. Um, no, I was just talking about the ones that do have ass. Unless, like, all mm-hmm. prospects have ass. Do we know? That doesn't sound right. Do we? <laughs> Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. I just it hit me a little bit late what Jack said. <laughs> <laughs> do we do we know the 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 status of John's ass? Like No. Not but really. Like, look at him. Right, we're looking at him from the front here. Now look. Okay. Either look. way, if he does have ass, that even that that just completely ruins my whole like theory about why this is pancake. Where's the pan? Because they're both pansexual. Is that what this is? Is it because you bake in pans? Do you? <laughs> it's a cake pan, but pancake is like a frying pan. Right. Okay. Look, I think we can all agree this makes no sense. This is this is bad. We're having to stretch really far to like find maybe threads. F. Just, F? F. 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 Pancake gets an F. I want to eat some pancakes actually. They do sound good. Yeah. Pancake break? <laughs> Come make me pancakes. I don't have pancake stuff. Uh Dave and Terezi as Cherry Glare. F. Mm. These are easy. <laughs> yeah, F. F. That's not a thing. That's not a thing that anyone has ever said. It's like cherry glaze. I'm just Hold on, let me look up if not. cherry glare is a thing before I say that for reals. It does feel... It. I will say, as the person who had to say it, it does feel oddly nice in the mouth. Has a nice mouth feel, this ship name. Which is fitting. Cherry glare? Yeah. I disagree. Okay. Cherry glare. Cherry glare. Nope, I get a bunch of um, really glossy cherry image results, but nothing else. Okay, well, F. F. Cherry glare gets an F. D for mouthfeel, but moving on. <laughs> cherry glare, cherry glare. You know what? You're kind of right. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Roxy and uh, Mina, that's her name, as Lobster Flambe. Did we not do this one already? I remember discussing a flambe. I don't know. Let's let's check the thing. <laughs> this is the only thing on the ship list with the word flambe in it. But I also feel like you're right. We definitely discussed flambe. We have seen the word lobster before, I think. That is it's wild. also only on this one. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't, I mean, I don't think it's possible with the way that I did these, but maybe I made this twice. There was fish flambe and lobster flambe. Do you not have that on your ship list? Because I have it on uh, livelaughstuck.com slash ship dash names. Oh, they're both in the same cell. Yeah. So fish flambe and lobster flambe are both mm. are, are both Roxy and Mina. But like Mina's not a lobster. Mina's much more of a fish than a lobster. Lobster, yeah. I could almost see Arania because like 
I mean, I know that it's not fish, but like scorpions, lobster. I also don't love the word flambe. I don't get why it's here. Because it's where you pour alcohol on a thing and then light the alcohol on fire. Mm, Okay, fair enough. That's ignorance. That's ignorance on my part. That's fine. I thought I explained it last time too, but you probably you know, did, and I probably forgot. That's fair. I was thinking for a minute: is lobster something you really flambe? Uh, I guess it is. I don't know. I just think of like there's a cake that you set on fire, a banana something. Yeah, banana Foster. Yeah, no, I definitely think of flambe as like a dessert sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, anyway, there, it, at no point in this ship is there a lobster anywhere. F. Nor fire. F. F. Yeah. Nor fire? <laughs> Who put this here? <laughs> <laughs> Someone hungry. Aradia and Solix as strawberry banana. F. D. F. F. Whatever. I forgot what we were doing. Strawberry food. banana gets an F. We started doing D. I think we've moved away from doing food and D, and then we just went to F automatically. Yeah. Yeah. Because we got tired of them. Yeah. There's too many of them. We've been inundated. They're all bad. F. F. (laughs) Kanaya and Gamzee as bloodthirsty. A. Really? I like it. I don't know if it's that high. It, it is definitely chuckle out of me. It is definitely better than than most of the things we've been doing. Mostly in that the entire ship name describes both people, which is yeah. somehow really rare on this list. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For some goddamn reason. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you know what? I'm sold. Like a like a I I could do a, but B, B. B's fine. I was think I was thinking around B. Yeah. B's good. Bloodthirsty gets a B. Tavros and Dave as timetable. I kept seeing timeable. Like the D, <laughs> the second T just disappeared. Timetable. Timetable. Yeah. <laughs> um D. Yeah. Or if you take away the first T, it's just I met a bull. It's just a full sentence. <laughs> <laughs> Is it bad to say that that makes me like it more? <laughs> uh, look, I was gonna say I was gonna say F, but now you've got me up to D and maybe even C. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think this is an F. I don't I I don't like the pun. I think it's a very lazy pun. Yeah, fair. But I do I do like it. Uh D? yeah, D. D okay. That's fine. That's C? lower than C? I was gonna say. C? I was I gonna say C? C. Yeah. Jack it's bad. C? I don't like I'm it. Voted. But I don't C. Like it. Seed. I met a bull. T. I met a bull. Gets a C. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wonderful. The next one up is Kanaya and Gamzee as clown hunting. This one's pretty good, honestly. Uh, it is. Is is being... clown hunting a thing? I think it's... chicken hunting's a thing. Clown hunting's not a thing, but Kanaya grabs her chainsaw and is like, I'm gonna go clown hunting, and spends three years hunting Gamzee on the media. I also just figured it was like a a slight Juggalo reference. Um, Could be. Not to my knowledge. Chicken hunting? The song? Oh, okay. I guess that's fair. That's what I thought Would you say B? I think that's fine. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Okay. None of us really care. Clown hunting gets a B. I like that don't really care gets a B. Look, I, f- I just felt a lot of apathy from both me and you. <laughs> yeah, no, fair. It's just funny. 
It's like so many things get asked and we're like, eh, it's a B. Sure. Yeah. Solux and Terezi as blind pair. I feel like there's other things they could have done with blind blank. Blind pair is boring. It's boring, but it is a two thing. It is. It is a duality thing. I guess. To me, it's still a D. Yeah, that's fair. I think. Also, I I thought maybe blind pair might be like a poker thing, but it is not. No. I say it no really confidently, like I know a bunch about poker. <laughs> like I know that blinds are a poker thing, and I know that pairs are a poker thing. Maybe both of them. Nope. Yeah. Incorrect. I think in my heart this is like a C or something, but like I can I can see D. I don't feel that strongly about it. Yeah, I mean I I think C because it is there is the like duality in it but eh. it is a very accurate descriptor it yeah. features a little bit of both of their things I'm not gonna be sad if it gets knocked down to D but yeah you guys can have it at C shit I guess we do outvote huh yeah okay. <laughs> unless you want to put it like S no. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, blind blind pair gets a C. John and Dave as Hammer Time. Like A. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. I think what really makes this for me is that Dave literally gifted John a time hammer. Yeah. Oh, right? yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he did. Yeah, otherwise this would just be... He is A, he is B. No, it wouldn't. Hammer Time's a thing. Hammer Time is a song. Well, but you can't just go, like, it's an actual, like, it's not like they just stuck two random things together. That To me, that's what he's A, like, he's B thing is sticking two random things together. But this is, like, a song. Yeah. And I think it got re-popular in around this time because Family Guy did a parody of it. Oh, okay. I don't know if it was around this time, though, but I think it was. It did have a bit of a 2010s resurgence. Okay. Yeah. Like, I just feel it works on multiple levels, because it is a song. It is. It does accurately describe both of them, and then uh, he did have a time hammer. It's pretty good. This is the This is the correct way to do he is A, he is B. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a hundred percent. B? B for me. Um, yeah, I'll give it a B. Yeah, I said A, but I guess okay. we do B. I just think that it works on three different levels, and it's just like the epitome of he was A, he was B, but they didn't have to change anything about the original name. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, all right. You know what? You've You've got me. You've got me. I'll give it. I'll, I'll I'll go up to A. Okay. Nice. Hammer Hammer Time gets an A. You can count on my vote. <laughs> <laughs> Caliborn and Calliope as uh, Uucest or Ucest. Ucest. <laughs> Ucest. <laughs> Ucest. <laughs> That's what I say. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, D. Yeah. Yeah, D. D, yeah. Okay. Ucest, not to be confused with Ucest, gets a D. Cherub likers have no rights. <laughs> it's true. Jade and Nepeta as iced tea. Because Jade's on a frost planet... And Nepeta's on a tea planet. Yep. Um, F. F. This doesn't describe yeah. them at all. Yeah, big F. No, and Ice T, I would just think of Dave. He's the only Southern in the whole fucking thing. 
You make a right. Good He's point. also very cool. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I Ice T is an F. Tavros and Vriska as Pupa Pan X Tinkerbitch. Not a ship name. Not a ship name. It's a Tavros X Vriska except roleplay names. Yeah. 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 Which F. I'm into. Like, I don't hate this specifically, but it is not a ship name. Correct. Disqualified? Yeah. A, yeah right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, Disqual- it's a. Yeah. <laughs> Pupa Panics Tinkerbitch is disqualified God damn it, for being not a ship fucking... name. That fucking one. It's not that hard. I just get sad. I am getting a note. I'm being dragged off the show for making too much work for Jax. Goodbye, everyone. Not as much work as you tried to give me for the second episode because it was uh, it was Hoof Beasts, and we decided Hoof Beats was a much better ship name. And you're like, hey, hey, Jax, why don't you like get the S and like physically drag it up to be the S for Hoof Beats? And I'm like, no. <laughs> Car cat. And Equius as Indecent Love Affair. I love this one a lot. I know, like, compared to, like, all of our rankings and reasonings and everything, it doesn't make sense. I love it. I okay. don't like this for a very different reason. Yeah? I didn't center the two the two lines <laughs> together. <laughs> okay, so I've got two, I'm of two minds on this, right? On the one hand, yes, perfect, wonderful, no notes. On the other hand, this does kind of describe 90% of Equius ships. That's true. I'm sorry. What are the 10% of Equius ships that are decent? (laughs) (laughs) Okay, I need to know. Equius would consider... A love affair with the person of higher blood than him. Perfectly decent. Unless it was too high. Yeah, he wouldn't want it. He wouldn't date for fair. The only thing higher than him is Gamzee. And, and Gamzee, like purple bloods are like, they're like leaps and bounds higher than <sighs> indigo bloods. Like, even though they're only one step up, like societally speaking. I suppose. And is, he... is Vriska the only acceptable ship? Yeah, Neighbors Shit. is the only acceptable <laughs> ship. Neighbors is the only socially acceptable ship, and this is why Equius will always consider her a good friend. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and that's why Vriska will always be interested. <laughs> that's fuck. Okay. All right. well, okay, so what do we think about this? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll give this, like, a a? I like, oh. I like it. I was going to go A. I love it. Okay. I love it. All right. Indecent Love Affair gets an A. It is the most indecent love affair, to be, to be frank. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, if the name was the most indecent love affair, I would, it would be an S. <laughs> I don't know. That's a little wordy. Yeah. Yeah. Still. No, there are, there are more indecent. Like what? Dad Egbert. With Equius? Yeah. No. You think that's more indecent than 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 Carcat? Is is it's mutant blood. Plus you got interspecies and an age gap. Well, yeah, but he's also <laughs> strunk. He um, is strunk. Th- he does have an outrageous amount of strunk. Yeah, and I think that um, cause the and like also let's be real for trolls. I don't think the age gap is one of their big concerns. Probably true. Pro yeah. I don't think that at least not a, a as a social taboo, especially if he's the younger one. Indecent love affair gets an A. <laughs> 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 this is why shipping Equius and Dad Egbert is actually morally correct. <laughs> <laughs> John and Jane as cake ship. 
D. Why? D. Why are all of the names for this pairing bad? Because Prospect Kids get no love. It's true. You're right. Ugh. I was gonna agree with you with D, but F because that made me sad. <laughs> yeah. F. <laughs> F. I think it's because everybody looks at them and goes, okay, what are their traits? Cake? Got it. Yeah. And that's that's it. Um, Cake I mean, ship gets an F. gets like the least amount of love out of the Prospect Kids. You have a sad life, dummy. Yeah, no, it's <laughs> true. Jane, ever since I started role-playing her, Back in, like, 2015, 2016, she's been the one who gets the least love. Mm -hmm. I've come to accept this. <laughs> Nepeta and Doc Scratch as Cat Scratch. I mean, sure. I don't know if I would, like, appreciate it more if it was Cat Scratch Fever, because then at least that's a full phrase. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so... Ignoring the song, yeah. medically, Cat Scratch Fever is generally referred to as Cat Scratch. Is it? I internally. I guess I don't have enough experience with that. It makes sense that it would be shortened. Yeah. Either way. If Nepet is giving people Cat Scratch Fever, though, that's really gross. Yeah. I mean, she doesn't seem like the most hygienic. Hmm. She lives in a cave and paints walls with blood. Mm, you're right. You're right. You're right. I hate it, but you're right. She kills food for herself and her Lussus. Well, her Lussus also kills food, but you know. Yeah. I don't think you kill food. I think it becomes food after you kill it. <laughs> You kill food. I mean, sometimes it's food whenever it's alive. Yeah, no, that's a good point. You can eat alive things. Yeah. Okay. Look, look. I mean, is a whole king. Look, okay, putting that aside. I- All right. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't- I wasn't- I'm gonna- I'm gonna- like, I know, but- <laughs> let, let me take a moment. Let me embody- Let me embody the autistic cat girl who lives in a cave, right? Okay. The can... autistic cat girl who lives in a cave. <laughs> <laughs> you can just, like, you can just reach out, grab bug, and chomp. <laughs> oh, a bug? You can. I was thinking, like, a mouse. I mean, yeah, that too. But, like, you can. You can just do that. <laughs> we are so far off the topic. <laughs> right. So what do we think about this ship specifically? I mean... Yeah, this is, uh, this is... Fine. I keep I keep trying to like reason it out, but honestly, I I do think it just barely clears the bar above she was cat, he was scratch. Yeah, I think it's a D. I put I I don't know. Like I mean I, I also think it's very low. But like so okay. What makes Cat Scratch different than Hammer Time? Hmm. What what makes that gap so enormous? Hammer Time was an actual hammer. I mean, like, it wasn't called Hammer Time, but, like, there was a hammer that was given. That was a time hammer. There is a song called Hammer Time that these two would get down with, or those two would get down with, and he was Hammer, he was Time. Yeah, this doesn't embody any actual interaction within the comic, or, honestly, any, like, it doesn't generate a compelling fanfiction interaction to replace it, right? Right, okay. Unless medical drama. Oof. <laughs> hmm. Okay, alright, listen, hear me out, alright? Hear me out. <laughs> okay. okay, yeah, absolutely, I'm here for this. House MD, but Doc Scratch. I think if we're doing cat scratch, it would have to be a vet, though, right? <laughs> Doc Scratch just House being... MD, but he's a vet and Doc Scratch. <laughs> I could... Okay. I just... Um, like, it's weird enough for your doctor to break into your house to, like, find your secret saltines, much less your vet. <laughs> right. No, that's exactly where I was going to go. Because, like, Doc Scratch would absolutely... 
tell one of the vet techs, hey, we need to break into their house to find out what's wrong with their cat. <laughs> yeah, that's so good. Oh. <laughs> Of course, this is assuming that this is a world where he's just not omniscient. Yeah, but like, no, that's not he... to say he still wouldn't at least send Nepeta in to break into someone's house. You are correct. <laughs> yeah, no, of course he's omniscient. Of course he already knows what the outcome is going to be. But it's a blank spot, so he has to set events into motion to uncover it. That's so fucking good. Okay. All right. Fair enough. I dig it. This is okay. This is so dumb. <laughs> I I want somebody out there who's compelled by this to get on that fan fiction though. I'll read it. I want someone I... to get on every single fanfic we have ever started. I did the um I did the Pepsi Cola uh Drabble, the 100 word fic. True. Look, okay. I just actually unironic offer that I'm going to make, all right? Jax, okay. I'm going to make this offer. And uh, you're just gonna have to deal with it. If if you write a fan fiction of roughly appropriate length, based on one of the concepts that we have put out out in in here, make sure that it gets around to me, and I will make sure that a new TDT episode gets produced. <laughs> okay, what is a roughly appropriate length? Because Jesus Christ, you could be signing up for a lot. Ten k. Yeah, Jesus. 10k. No, I think I think okay, hold on. 10k is so much, Tommy. No, hold on. Hold on. You have to look up what yeah, some of the, the fix we read. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna literally pull up my uh my my bookmark that has the search that I used on AO3 to find fix of an appropriate length. What have I done? The lower bound <laughs> was the lower bound was 5k. And the upper bound was 12k, if you can believe it. The lower Jesus. bound was 5k? I think we'll accept lower than that, and we can just do a lot. Yeah, I'd go down to... In like one go. Yeah, probably go down to 2 or 3k. No, go no? down further. Listen, listen, you're excluding me from a lot of things. Okay, fair enough. Look, I did, you know, you if, know full if, well that you can get a new TDT episode produced of your own work when the fuck ever you want. <laughs> but I have to do. I mean, that's true. Oh my god! Remember when I almost, whenever I started doing uh, the Dirt Cat AU as a whole thing, I have like yeah. rec uh, records, um, recordings for the first chapter and everything. Sad face. Um, anyway, I'm just saying that if someone makes, like, a drabble out of every single one of these that we've done, that could be an episode. That's true. That's a very good point. I would accept that. That would be fun. Yeah. Could feature a lot of people. Exactly. So there's there's no lower limit, only an upper limit of whatever Dami just said. 17k. No, thank you. Stop making the number go up. <laughs> of 70k, because that's where my Dirt Cat AU is currently at. Anyway. So Cat Scratch is like a C now, right? Yeah, I think we we talked ourselves up. <sighs> I think up. we've gotten it up to a C for Cat Scratch. It, but exclusively for the medical drama AU of these two. Right, right. <laughs> Cat, Cat Scratch gets a C, and I am... <laughs> upset by the number of similarities between Doc Scratch and House MD. <laughs> they would both call you slurs. They would. Jade, Dave, and Carcat as yifty shades of gray. Where does Dave come into this? Uh, also, also, also the shades. The... Oh, oh shit! Yeah, you're right. I was gonna say I had also to look the for yif. That. Yeah. <laughs> huh? I was gonna say also the yif. I guess. He's got a fursona. Yeah, but that's only in Pester Quest. I'm pretty sh hold on. Now I have to fucking double check. For some reason I thought he was in Oh, you know what? Maybe in Jade's room there is a picture of him with a fursona. Or persona him, whatever. Yeah, it's in the it's in the uh it's in 
it's in one of the really early pester logs uh, right after Jade gets introduced. You're right. Seriously, I'm sitting here tonight with a fucking bag of kibble jacked open on my lap and primed for a goddamn bear, and you're gone. By the way, my name is Aquit Permusk, hardest buttock in the jungle. <laughs> I love Dave. <laughs> right? <laughs> I think they should have just kept it at Yiffy. Get rid of the tea. I think that this probably was made before that. Well, no, but uh, I know it was made before that, but I just, I don't know. I, I don't know. Because on one hand, I agree with you. Yiffy is a, a cleaner word than Yifty, which is nothing. <laughs> I kind of like but Yifty, it, though. <laughs> but also, you know, the Yifty is fun to say. The more we say Yifty, I'm into it. And Yiffy doesn't rhyme with 50. I guess. It's a slant rhyme. Yeah, well, I'm a poet, and slant rhymes are my bread and butter. <laughs> Where would I be without slant rhymes? Um, Probably yeah. still here rating these goddamn ship names. Fucking pain <laughs> in the ass. It's true. That is accurate. It's not like my poetry's gotten me anywhere. <laughs> Read my newsletters. I write a poem each week. Anyway, can we agree that this is like a solid A? Yeah, it's just pretty yeah. good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Yifty Shades of Grey gets an A. I just also love how your positioning of the sprites just changes my relationship with the ship. Look, we all know that she just gets in the middle of those two. I, I don't know. Like, maybe it's another Dom situation. No, yeah, I think she Doms those two, is, I, I think, think what happens doms. here. I think she is the Dom in this scenario, and there's like, no I don't way. Necessarily... I, I think, okay, no, you're right. Sort of, <laughs> I think for this ship name specifically, she's the Dom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Carcat and Nepeta as Catnip. We haven't done this one yet? We have not. Wild. It's pretty rough, I think. Yeah? Yeah. I was thinking like a C. Ugh. I can accept that because it is technically a pun on like the common ship name, which is Catnip, right? Yeah. Which I think in and of itself is a pun on this word. Yeah. I think we've I think we've done catnip with a K, because that's also on the list. Oh, that could be it. I do think I like with the K more. Yeah, it's more of its yeah. own thing. Okay, so I don't know, I don't know, I can't remember what we rated that, or if we've rated it yet. Can't remember what we've rated anything. It doesn't matter. I I think we have. Yeah. I'm down with giving this a C, but I want it known that if anyone out there remembers what we rated that... I actually want this to be one ranking below that. <laughs> Let's just put it at a D then. I think that's yeah. uh, okay. safe to say. Yeah. Catnip with a C gets a D. All right. Aradia and Vriska as fluorite octet. See, there's the uh, crystal gem. Yeah. The what? The gem. You were wanting gem names. Okay, but this is just the name of Riska's weapon. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I was just thinking of... Also, also, hey, tabletop nerds, dice makers, make a fluoride octet. The fact that I can't just go and buy one is a crime, because yeah. I've tried. I have searched so hard. Yeah, yeah. It It is, it is in fairness, a little difficult, because you have to get... Like, you would have to make a custom mold for it, right? Because they're dotted in a unique way. Yeah. Like, it, it is a very custom work, but... I don't, I don't know if putting pips instead of numbers on a D8 is a huge custom job. I know that it's uncommon, so you def you'd probably yeah. have to make your own mold for it. 
but, but they are also like the pips are also arranged weird on her dice set. I just think for are they? as many Homestuck fans are out there, it shouldn't like someone should have done it by now. Yeah, it's true. I mean, I guess seven and eight are weird because you don't normally put pips on anything other than a D6. Yeah, it's the, the, the they're arranged weird so that they look like her eye is the thing, right? Yeah. I mean, that's just how I would arrange that, you know. Fair enough. It does end up looking very funny with like the eight just having like a random dot off to the side. Yeah, yeah. Popped them in the in the Discord for ya. Yeah. Oh, the six is also weird. The five yeah. is really funky too. The five is really fucked up. <laughs> Who did that? Who allowed five. that? A hussy. I guarantee you, hussy did this. It's a Christian five. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? How is that not a Christian five? I don't I don't know what that means. It's a cross. It's a it's a kite. I guess. Anyway. <laughs> so what's the ship name? What do we uh, think? Th- yeah, this is like an F. Where's Aradia in this? Yeah. Um I'm gonna try and I'm gonna tr- I have a theory. Okay. I'm ready. I'm Googling it. I'm going to prove myself right or wrong immediately. Okay. Oh. That doesn't sound right or wrong. It's because it's not. I've I've been proven both correct and incorrect. I was going to say maybe fluorite, which I've spelled incorrectly here. It's uh, F-L-U-O. Is... I, I thought maybe like maybe maybe fluorite's red. Maybe that's like maybe real fluorite is red. Real fluorite's every goddamn color. That sounds about right. This is this is a this is a big just rainbow gem. It's very cool to look at. Sorry, these are these are really these are really fucking cool. Fair enough. And also like three thousand dollars if you Damn. want a sizable chunk. They're very expensive. Damn. Damn. God, these are fucking pretty, though. Okay, I gotta stop. Are you looking at dice in particular? No, I was looking at, like, just the gem fluorite. Oh, yeah. Ugh, fluorite dice. Also very pretty. Yeah. But I'm not gonna send you down this hole right now. Uh, F? No. <laughs> Unless you find an 8D8 set, I'm not interested. Oh, uh, yeah, F. Uh, Florida Octet gets an F. This chip has no Aradia in it. I should write a tabletop game that uses 8D8 as the, the, the default dice pool. Yeah. It- but yeah, yeah, no, no, no Aradia here. Get this shit out of my face. Throw it to the F dimension. <laughs> Throw it to the <laughs> F dimension. <laughs> the, uh, or the F dimension, if you will. <laughs> I won't. Jake and Dirk as peas and carrots. It's bad. F. 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 To the F dimension with you. <laughs> <laughs> Terezi and Riska as the Scourge Sisters. Excuse me, no the, just Scourge Sisters. See? It's classic. Yeah. It's classic and canon. See for classic canon. I think this gets at least a B. Okay. There is no denying who this is. Right. Well, yeah, for sure. I think Justin, you're the only one who hasn't weighed in. I I don't. Um, I'm kind of on the C end because yeah, it's classic and canon, but that's sort of it. Okay, fair enough. I can accept a C. Yeah, Scourge Sisters gets a C. 
Aradia and Solux as bring you back. Nope. What? Nope. What? Fuck Try me! Again. <laughs> <laughs> How did I even do that? <laughs> this ship probably would make more sense if it was Solux. I got no excuse. I'm gonna be frank. Aradia and Carcat as bring you back. <laughs> what does this mean? Who is being brought back in this relationship? Ugh. Yeah, I don't... Is there just something that we're not remembering? Between the three of us? Two of us are currently in Homestuck read-throughs, too. Yeah, no. These two just don't interact much, is the thing. Yeah. Yeah. They interact, like, once at the start when they're having arguments about who's in charge and then they interact again later uh when memo shit is happening and she's like being future coy um she's always being future coy yeah it just makes true. me think of fish like i know what coy means <laughs> but i'm just like fish from the future Psychic, uh, that too. Clairvoyant fish. I'm sure they, they are known for their um, precognitive prowess. Yeah, I mean, and then they interact a little bit uh, on the meteor before they set off. Yeah, I'm sure they interact a bit post cascade. It's nothing. It's I mean, nothing. It's nothing. Who bring? No one brings. Both of like Aradia gets brought back and brings people back ish but like they don't have anything to do with each other in regards to that yeah f okay f. okay let me okay hold on hold on i am holding oh no embracing i gotta st- look i'm stretching all right what if we're looking at this wrong what if this isn't supposed to be a bring you back to life thing what if it's like a like a memories of the past sort of like oh that takes you back sort of vibe they have no interactions of that of that kind. Yeah. They were not like super tight buds before everything. Sure. Yeah. Like Carcat thought uh LARPing w- or flarping was dumb. Yeah. And that's like the only interaction we see Aradia have with anyone except for Solix um before she dies. Yeah. No, you're right. I appreciate the effort. It's yeah, I can't I don't no. Sorry. Bring you back gets an F. Fair. Jade and Tavros as mint chocolate. Do wanna do we wanna try a lightning round now? Partially because I'm like way tired for no good reason. Yeah, definitely. Um, so I don't know when I'm gonna have to tap out. F. Mint chocolate, F. Okay, there's nothing too terribly interesting coming up. Lightning round, mint chocolate, F. Carcat and Nepeta as Kit Kat. D? D. 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 Rose and Dave as Nightlight. Uh, night spelled with a K. B. C? Um. B. I can do C. B? B. 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 Okay. Roxy and Dirk as Dunkin' Donuts. F. 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 Absolutely. Could have been drunken donuts. That would still make more no sense, but still. It's yeah. it's a color <laughs> thing. It's a color thing. Oh, okay. Oh, right, right. Okay, I got it. Still F. Uh, John, Carcat, and Jake as shitty movie bros. C? Sure. Or D. C. Sure. D. C. C? C. Carcat and Dave as Red Knights. D. 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 That's just what they are. The Mayor and P.F. as Constitutional Monarchy. B? I kind of like it. I kind of yeah, love B? it. Yeah, B. B? B. B. Dave and Jade as Harley Davidson. C? C. I kind of... Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
Sure. I was going to say B because I kind of like this. Okay. But I do kind of like it. Okay. B. I think, we've, I think B? we can agree. B. 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 Yeah. B. <laughs> Solix and Aridan as blinded by science. A. 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 Easy. A? Okay. He was blinded by science. I have yeah. actually seen this one in the olden times. Nice. <laughs> A. Ugh, again? Jane and Dirk as portal shift. F. 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 <laughs> Solix and Carcat as crabs and bees. F. 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 Carcat and Kanaya as crabby vampire. F. 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 God. What is wrong? <laughs> Carcat and Equius as sweat and tears. D? 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 D. D. Carcat and Dave as about bloody time. D. D. If either of them had the slightest inkling of British, it'd be higher. Yeah. But no. D. Though the idea of a, a car cat with a British accent does sound pretty good, and I want to hear someone <laughs> do that. It'd have to be Cockney, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Ab oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Solix. Oh, and here's a better one. Solix and Terezi as blind love. C. 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 Because they can't. <laughs> John and Dave as movie night with a K. Uh, A or B? B. Really? Okay. I, B. I, yeah, B. B. Solix and Vriska as double trouble. B? C? B? C. Somewhere in there. Uh, yeah, I think, I think this is like, hmm. I have to, I, I'm taking my role as tiebreaker very seriously. <laughs> Lightning round over. <laughs> uh, C. 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 Kanaya and Riska as sparkling sapphires. F. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm, yeah. Yeah. No. D. 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 I'm charmed by the gem name. Okay. And I think it works. It does say Saf. It does say Saf. And okay. It does, <laughs> and it does work here because because the the rainbow drinker. I think this Sparkling, is sparkling. Yeah. I don't. I D. don't hate this one. I don't hate this one enough to banish it to the F dimension. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, say it right. The F dimension. <laughs> 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 I couldn't get through it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Let me take that it's again. Fu it's funny to say. <laughs> Let me take that again. The f dimension. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Sparkling Sapphires gets a D. The d dimension, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> Dave. Oh, I won't, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Dave and Terezi as ironically read. I kind of like this. I kind of really? like it does it no cuz I I feel like ironically red also describes their quadrant. Yeah, yeah, like they're ironically uh, red. Yeah. yeah, right? Yeah. I could see that. Yeah, I kind of adore this one, I, honestly. A? I, I, a? A? Okay. A. Uh, Come on. That's a little that's a little high. Really? Really? Maybe it's because we've had just a slew of shit. I don't know. I, I think and I'm, I'm rating is... it too high, no, like, related to that. I'm endlessly charmed by this. But I... it is really good. I, I, I cannot, in good conscience, like, say that this is because we just had a storm of shit. I love this. I really do like it. Like, can canonically, they were basically ironically read. Yeah. Also, describe like both words describe both of them. In a way, they both have a red thing to do with them. They're both irony. They're they're both the irony kids. Yeah, this works in a lot of ways. A. What do you actually want it to have, Jax? 
C at best. Really? What don't just not into it? What don't you like about it? <laughs> it's boring. Ironically, read it doesn't sound like a thing. I so disagree, but I respect your opinion. Do you? Yes. <laughs> Do we? So does it average out to like a B plus? Can we? Can we agree on that? Okay. Ironically, if you gre- both I, say I, A. You guys can have A. Well, no, because we're doing we're doing mathematical averages here Sometimes. to letters. Sometimes. Okay, B. It's I. Ironically, red gets a B because I said so. Okay. Solix and dead Solix, as Gemini He's says, blind Solix. He's not dead. I just had to find two different Solix okay. Solixies. Gotcha. Oh, Solis. I mean, you didn't have to. <laughs> Hold uh, on. This, is, this is just this is just Solix Solix. Okay. It could have been. Uh, you could have gotten Durst Solix and Prospect Solix. I could have, but that would require tracking down two additional sprites instead of one. They should have been both in the Homestuck Wiki. You would have just clicked right a couple of times. Uh huh. Okay, pretend oh. it's CrossFit and Durst Solix. <laughs> All right, there, done. For the audio listeners, it's CrossFit and Durst Solix. <laughs> for the visual, for the visual listeners, for the visual listeners, it's alive and and yeah. For the visual listeners, I know what I said. I thought about it before <laughs> I said alive, it. They're both alive though. <laughs> like blind. Okay. No teeth. Solix is explicitly alive. At some point, doesn't he like half die? Isn't that this a might have been part of his half death? I but think he's like he's half dead. Yeah, he is like alive. He's like walking around and talking and everything, though. Honestly, he just looks really tired. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he is that too. Yeah, it's Gemini Cest. I'm gonna say, uh, D. Yeah, D. Yeah, D. Gemini Cest gets a D. Equius and Dirk as heavy breathing. <laughs> this makes Dirk a mouth breather and I don't like it. <laughs> what a what a good reason. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It just like I can see Equius being the person who calls you in the middle of the night and you only hear breathing on the other end. <laughs> I can't imagine Dirk being that person. Okay, here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, though, Jax, all right? Now listen. Okay. I need you to really, I need you to really hear me out on this one, okay? The more you try to, like, couch (laughs) this, the less I'm gonna hear you out. I'm prepared to dismiss you. Is he that way once you get him horny? Who doesn't breathe heavily when they're horny? My point exactly. Then that means this could be any pairing of people. Ugh. I just don't think you see the vision. <laughs> you said, what if he's horny? And I said, anyone does it when they're horny. And you're like, exactly. It's a horny joke because they these two together would have an incredibly horny relationship. You could say that about so many characters. Yes, but these two in particular? No. I'm shocked that you are arguing with me about this. Dirk is too irony poisoned to be openly, vulnerably horny to the point that he can be described as like, I don't know, like not on an equious level. Like, he's internally horny. He's not heavy breathing equius horny. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'm I'm definitely with Jax on this one, Dami. Sorry. Okay, regardless of this argument, I still think it doesn't get above a D. So, like, you can both outvote oh. me and go to F and I'm Oh, yeah, F. 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 Heavy breathing gets an F. Mouth breathing dirt gets an F as well. <laughs> <laughs> John and Terezi as Blue's Clues. A. Okay. I agree. I'm, I so yeah. agree with you. But 
I, you have to understand, right? You have to understand where I'm coming from here. I want this to be Jane so bad. Yeah, I know you do. (laughs) Just throw Jane in here as well. Then it's an S. (laughs) But, you know, it it does work better for John since Terezi literally sent him on a fucking treasure hunt to change the timeline. Ooh. You make a compelling yeah. point. You make a very yeah. compelling yeah. point. Okay. That's what I no, first thought of. That's exactly what I thought of too, yeah. Never mind then. I'm so with you. This is great. A? A. a. Blue's Clues gets an A. Dave and Okay, hold on. Alpha Dave. The the Alpha Bro. You know the guy. The guy. And Yeah. And Dirk, Dirk Strider, as Alpha Sust. So my only thing is this can also be used to describe um, Alpha Rose and Roxy. It's just almost no one ever uses it to mean that ship. It could also describe Alpha Dave and Alpha Rose. I I mean, yeah, I really you, never th- mm. heard it used for that. But yeah, I mean, yeah, it could. I'm just not a fan. Yeah, it's not a great ship name. D. 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 D for Dirk and Dave. Alpha Sus gets a D. I always hate rating the ships I like low. <laughs> <laughs> we're not rating the ships, we're rating the names. No. Jane and Calliope as key lime pie. Uh it's a it's a it's an F. It's an F. Key lime pie. F. Absolutely. Key Lime Pie gets an F. No questions. Dave and Aradia as double time. D? D. Yeah. Double time gets a D. This is an Arasol ship name. We all know this. Hmm. Jake and Dirk as Pumpkin Rodeo. F. F, yeah. Uh, yeah, F. Pumpkin Rodeo gets an F. You tried. Did they? No. Texan and colors. I mean, like... Okay, actually, hold like on. It's... This is the second, like, cowboy-adjacent thing we've gotten with this pair. Yeah. It's Where's be- it coming from? It's because Dirk Texas. is Texan, and... Is that really it? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck that F. No, Dirk. But yeah, Dirk does get all of the cowboy associations because he's a Texan. Because who likes he likes horses. horses. Yeah, and I just want to say, if there's going to be a pumpkin ship, it needs to be dealing with either Roxy or Jane. I know that doesn't work out color wise, but like Jane's the one planting pumpkins, and Roxy's the one taking them. Right? I think you mean Jade, but yes. Jade. I mean, yes. I know Jade also plants pumpkins, but I thought Jane was doing it too. And that was one of the early, like, my shit keeps disappearing and Roxy was trying to convince her that it was her. And then it, I don't know. You might be right, but I don't know if it was pumpkins specifically. I haven't gotten to that section in my reread yet, but you might be okay. right. Let me know yeah, when you get there. Roxy, I think- Roxy, wasn't, Roxy wasn't the one stealing from Jade. No, I, that, I, that's why I said Jane. No. Yeah. But um, I know that I think Jake's Island also had pumpkins, but I know Roxy was stealing pumpkins from either Jake's Island or Jane. Yeah. Sounds right. She had a lot of carapaceans to feed. Yeah. Solix. Anyway, Hacker Buddies. And Roxy Sorry. as Hacker Buddies. It, y- yes. I mean, correct, but... I don't know. For some reason, I can only think that, like, it's Hacker Buddies, parentheses, trans. And, I like, I can't <laughs> erase the trans from the end of this, so it just keeps <laughs> bumping up in my head. <laughs> uh, it's it's like a D. Yeah. That's fair. There's there's not a, There's not a lot of substance here. Yeah, that's fair. Hacker Buddies gets a D. Okay. No, say your what thing. What do you think it should be? I think it's a C, but that's because I keep tacking trans onto it. 
Well, that's not there. I know it's not there, but that's just what's happening in my head. Look, if it was there, I agree with you. It would be a C. But yeah, no, I agree. It's a it's a D. Roxy and Dirk as drinking is magic, but magic is spelled the weird way that Homestuck likes to spell it. D. D, yeah. D, D. Did you say B? I said D. Okay, all right. There's been a couple of times I thought Tommy said D, and I just have to go based on tone. Sorry, Discord is Discord doesn't like you today. Yeah. Unfortunate. But I did say D. No, fuck this name. Yeah, okay. Drinking is magic. Ma- magic. 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 Maj Y Y K. Yeah. <laughs> Gets a D. Okay, bit of a shorter one this time, but next We've time. We've been recording for two hours. Okay, and we usually record <laughs> for three or four hours. So for these, it's a bit of a shorter one. Um, <laughs> but uh, next one will be the last one, which is exciting for me personally and our ttrpg games uh yes. you know our our tabletop role playing yes. game games yes because because dami has one more to do of the uh of heroes of light yeah and then it's back to my monster of the week so i have to remember what the fuck we were doing because it was <laughs> about to be some some interesting overarching plot stuff is what i remember I think there was a shopping mall. Sounds right. Cool. Right. Cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, there was. Cool. We were gonna I'll have do... to hit you guys up later. Yeah, we were going to do um, uh, solo episodes. Oh my god, Not yeah. episodes, because we're not recording, but... Yeah. Jesus Christ, I have to remember what the fuck... Do you know how long it's been? It's been a long time. Seven years. It's been almost exactly a year since we started that Monster of the Week game. Christ. Anyway, you should finish ending the episode. <laughs> I will finish ending the episode. I'm ending the episode, guys. I'm ending the episode. Uh, anyway, <laughs> thank you guys for watching and or listening. Maybe I should have said listening and or wa- whatever. I, I hope you guys have liked this series. We've had a lot of fun. It's just taking into our game time. And check out my newsletter. It's Jaxiax dot substack.com and check out the discord it's in the link below you know in the 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 notes and stuff and you know just 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 come say hi come say hi come say hi to all of us i don't know where you can say hi to dami just go give dami money and check out her soundcloud anyway see you next time thank you to dami for composing the theme song and editing the episode you can find more of her work at soundcloud.com slash domino thief. Shout out to our fakest fan tier supporters, Danny the Spoon Lord and Tezrak. You can become a supporter and receive early episodes and bonus content for as little as $1 a month over at ko-fi.com slash jacksyaks or simply give a one-time tip. For information on and links to my other projects, head over to jacksyaks.com. Thanks again for listening. 